So there seems to be this growing pattern of people painting brake calipers by masking up the disc and the whole side of the car. And I can't help but think to myself, surely that takes longer to do than just take the caliper off. I just want to apologize really this whole video has been a bit of a shambles uh, I recorded probably an hour and a half's worth of footage going through all of the prep work all of or literally all of the sand and all the taping up everything uh, stupidly I didn't check any of the footage till right at the end and my external microphone had failed and it was putting a load of distortion and feedback through the footage so I had to crop all the bad bits out so I apologize now there will be little parts of the video that are cut short. It might not make perfect sense, but I've made the best of a bad situation. And if, uh, if you do hear a bit of feedback uh, or distortion noises, it's not your device, it's my microphone. So fear not. Right, I'm gonna jump straight into it. Uh, I got my hands on some 14 inch Akabono brakes from a Nissan 370Z uh, for a good friend of mine. And they came powder coated red. Uh, they're remanufactured, they're not brand spanking new. Uh, and whoever, whoever powder coated them, bear in mind this is what I do for a living, so I, I see a lot of powder coating. They powder coated the mating faces where the caliper itself bolts onto the hub of the car. They powder coated that. Now powder coat isn't an even surface, it is uneven and it also adds material which is going to throw the caliper ever so slightly off centre from where it should be sat which quite frankly is dangerous. So besides the point, I wanted to paint them anyway, but that needed to be done, uh, which, is, uh, you, which is in the footage, which you'll see. Uh, secondly, I put my new brakes on the car, uh, just a little trial mock-up fit. I didn't bleed them on or anything, just bolted them on the hub and uh, went to put my Cosmos XT206s on and the, the, they didn't clear. They, Clear, clear the calipers, not, not even remotely, that the, they were hitting the barrel, you couldn't turn the wheel, it was scraping on the caliper. Um, so I had to get myself some new wheels. A uh, few days till tuning, uh, I wanted the big break because I was going to be chasing some big numbers hopefully. Um, so I went to Walton Motorsports in the UK and they're currently doing 30% off of the Cosmos R1 wheels. So I bought myself a staggered setup this time, 18 by 9.5s for the front on a 245 tire and 18 by 10.5s on the back with a 295 Bridgestone, which hopefully should hook up on the dyno quite nicely. So uh, I've got a little clip of those wheels pre-tire. Um, I like to do this video a little bit back to front. But uh, yeah, predominantly I'm going to be going through today, like I said at the start of the video, how to paint your brake calipers properly in my eyes, in my opinion. I see a lot of people on these videos on YouTube, they're, they're, they're masking up the whole side of the car and you've got to bear in mind you're painting outside so your paint finish isn't going to be that great anyway and you're not going to mask up the whole car so let's be honest there's going to be little bits of overspray on, uh, on parts of the car or even up in your wheel arches and things like that and, and, and quite frankly it's just it's just lazy in my opinion and if you've if you've got 10 minutes of time and another person with you there's no reason why you can't take the calipers off to, to put them back on you just need another person to help you bleed them if you haven't got a, a bleeder tool so um i don't see the need for all this masking up just take the calipers off guys it's so much easier so much so much better in my opinion uh, Okay, granted, cheating a little bit on my part because they're fresh out of the box, I haven't had to take them off, but if they were on the car and I wanted to paint them, yes, I would take them off. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy it. So what I'm predominantly going to be doing today is going through with you guys almost like a little mini tutorial, so say, of how I paint calipers. Um, I do use my uh, spray gun normally but uh, unfortunately being furloughed my spray gun is at work 
and I, I can't go and retrieve it at the moment. So I'm going to be using aerosols. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just take the caliper apart into two pieces so I can tape over the pistons inside. I'm just going to take these apart now. Because uh, these are uh, reconditioned calipers, they're not brand new from this hand, they're, they're reconditioned off a uh, 2015 or 2016 370. They've powder coated the mating face. Who powder coats the mating face? That's where the caliper bolts onto the hub. You want metal to metal contact, you don't want an uneven surface of powder coat between your brake caliper and the, and the hub. It's, uh, it's, it's just dangerous frankly, so what I'm going to do quickly before I get into the emery cloth is uh, I'm just going to sand off both sides where the bolts meet the caliper and where the caliper meets the hub. All right, so now that's done, uh, I'm just gonna hit over them with uh, a little bit of brake cleaner. Ready for me to start prepping. Um, so I'm gonna be using uh, just this emery cloth. It's quite uh, an orange peely finish on the front, which I might take that down nice and smooth because obviously that's where everybody looks at the brakes. Um, I might do that now quickly before I even start so that I can uh, I can carry on with the rest of it and have a nice uh, nice flat surface for the graphics to go on. All right, I'm just going to hit this down with a 400 grit. Um, I don't really want to take any material off. I just want to flat the surface down. Just to get rid of that orange peel. There you go, perfect. That's all I wanted to do, just to um, just to flat that surface down nicely. Doesn't matter if you break through to the metal at all. Uh, now I'm going to start hitting over them with this tough emery cloth. And you, you you probably think that it doesn't really do much because it is just a, a cloth, but it provides enough uh, adhesion for what we're doing for painting. So I'm just going to speed this video up, otherwise you guys are going to get bored and click on something else. Alright, so now I'm at a point where I want to start taping things up properly. Alright, off camera I did already tape up the pistons. Um, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret that's not really a secret. Um, sooner than putting tape over it and trying to cut a nice circle round, which is nigh on impossible, even with a brand new blade on the Stanley, find something that is just a little bit bigger than the area that you want to cover. So in my case, uh, thanks to my little boy out in the garden, a uh, plastic cup that he uses in his pool. Thanks for letting me borrow that, Charlie. Um, put it over your tape, get a pen, draw around it, and uh, cut your circle out, bang, bang, that's it. So now I'm gonna tape up these surfaces here because that's the mating faces of the caliper. If you were gonna, obviously you wouldn't need to do this if you were leaving the caliper intact. The only downside to painting the caliper without splitting it is uh, if you ever get a seal go and you need to rebuild the caliper, you're gonna damage your paint surface when you split it apart, which means you'll have to paint them again. Um, I don't wanna have to do that. These, um, these haven't even been uh, bled onto the car yet, so I might as well do it the way I'm doing it. 
All right then, so those bits are all taped up now and we're gonna get onto the more finicky bit, which is obviously taping up all the bolt holes and uh, your fluid inlet. So I've done this off camera, obviously, but find yourself a load of sockets that nicely fit over the area that you wanna cover. Uh, I've got that one, goes on there. And uh, I've got a deep 10 mil half inch socket that covers up all these really nicely. Okay then, I've got them completely taped up, front and back. I've uh, hung them up ready to paint and all I've done is I've found some old banjo bolts off my old bikes and um, put them in place of the bleed nipples and just strung them up to the ceiling. Um, so I've also hit them over with uh, a load of brake cleaner just to get any of the fingerprint grease off of them. And uh, now we're, we're just about ready to start hitting them with some paint, but what I am gonna do, uh, I've got an old hairdryer in here, and I'm just gonna go over them with the hairdryer for a, for a few seconds, just to warm up uh, slightly the material, and uh, also the, the spray can that I'm gonna be using. Alright then, so it's been 24 hours since I put the last coat of yellow on, it's gone nice and hard. Um, I did just quickly off camera a second ago go over it uh, with a bit of brake cleaner just to degrease any fingerprints that I put on it, taking it off the, the hanger. Uh, now it's time for me to stick on the graphics before I go ahead and lay some lacquer onto it. So um, this, this is an easy simple procedure but I'll just do it on camera anyway. The hardest part of this is just lining it up. I'm going to turn the caliper this way a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure you don't touch any of the actual graphic itself, just the backing paper. Move over it plenty of times just to make sure. Let's step down all the way. And when you're removing graphic back in paper, just always pull down and on a 45 degree angle so you don't peel the graphic off with the paper. Okay. There you go, Acapona graphics on. Uh, it's time now to hang it back up and get some lacquer on it.
Okay, that's the last coat of lacquer on. I did only do two coats in the end. Um, I didn't feel it needed anymore. I, that was my heavy coat and I'm quite happy with how it laid down actually. It's, um, it looks nice and glossy. So time will tell, 24 hours from now, um, they'll be rock hard and ready to put back together. I'll probably come out later on tonight in about 12 hours time when they're um, just past touch dry and I'll carefully take the mask and tape off, otherwise it can be a, a real pain in the ass trying to do it when the lacquer's gone rock hard. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how they come out tomorrow. All right then, so here we are. I've skipped a couple of stages uh, on the filming side of things. I didn't bother showing the unmasking or anything like that. It's a little bit boring, um, it takes a long time. But yeah, they're all bolted back together. The lack is dry. Uh, it's been almost 24 hours now. Um, they're not going back on the car for a couple of days. Um, so the lacquer will really have a chance to uh, harden before I do that. But yeah, predominantly they are really nice. So I like how they came out. The, the gloss shine on them from the from that 1k lacquer has, has done them justice the graphics look really good there's a couple of little areas um, that were a bit dry hit uh, but they're in areas that no one can see so quite frankly I don't really care that much but uh, yeah so I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw in a couple of clips of them bolted onto the car with the new uh, with the new discs and wheels and stuff I ain't got any tires yet but um, it'll give you guys an idea of what it's gonna look like so yeah, hit, uh, give, give, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.